What's up guys, Austin from Rock Bottom Cats here and in this video we're going to go hit the water in the kayak and we're going to drag some baits for catfish. Now this is a two-part video uh, if you want to see how I've set up my kayak and the type of rig I'm using. When you finish this video go back and watch the first video where I discuss all of that. But for now stick around and let's get out there and catch some fish. All right guys, so this morning, I've actually come about two and a half miles back into the back of this creek here, and I'm gonna drag my baits out of it. So I've got white perch and bluegills. I'm gonna do perch on this one rod, and then bluegill on this other one. Probably do a he bluegill headpiece and a perch body section. So we're gonna start back here. I'm in about five foot of water, and we're gonna drag all the way back out to the main lake, um, which will be about 50 foot deep. So gonna see if we can find some fish so uh sit tight let's see what we can catch all right first piece of bait headpiece bluegill lower jaw out the nose we're good to go All right, second piece, white perch body section. I have filleted off one side, and then there's still scales there, but scaled this side. Just gonna hook it right through the back here, and I've also cut off the fins there to help keep that from interfering with the hook set. So there's that piece. Alright guys, so what I'm doing here is I'm trolling between 0.4 and 0.5 miles an hour this morning. I usually do 0 0.3 to 0.4, but I'm, uh, I'm going to pick it up just a little bit because I want to try to cover more ground. And we've had some really warm weather, so hoping the fish are pretty active. Um, I've got a drift sock out behind me to just kind of help keep me, keep me straight if we get any wind. And then I've got the trolling motor up here in the front pulling us along. And I'm just going to kind of work my way out of here following this creek back out to the main lake so let's see uh, if we can get on some fish now oh, oh. there's a fish folks there's a fish alrighty I'm loosen that drag because I had that thing cracked down from being hung the other day alrighty Let's see what we got. Definitely feels like a blue. That was on the uh, bluegill headpiece. I was actually expecting that white perch to be the first thing that got hit. And guys, if this is really bright, I'm sorry. The sun is coming right up through here. And... Sorry guys, I don't know why that camera turned off. I'm in. Well, he was in about 15 foot of water back there. Water temps 51.65 degrees. Yeah, the warmest I've seen it is 52, so. Let's see. I guess I should probably get this Sabiki rod out of the way. Come on in, buddy. Let's 
three. Oh yeah, looks like a pretty blue, y'all. Pretty blue. Mm -mm -mm -mm. that drifts up. See how good he's hooked. All right. All right, guys, let's try to get him in the kayak. There we go. Good way to start, guys. Good way to start. All right, folks. Let's take a look at him. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. There's the first blue. Pretty fish. I am tickled to start the morning off with them. We'll get a couple pictures here and I'll get them back in the water and uh, I'm gonna get another headpiece on and toss out. All right, here we go. Back you go, bud. You'll let go of the grippers. He's gone. fish y'all. I didn't even finish my breakfast yet. Oh. That's another one on another bluegill headpiece at that. Let's see what we got folks. Get this kayak straightened back up. Oh. Feels about like the last one. But I will take them. Something else I'm about to do is take this sweatshirt off because I'm about to burn up. We're in, uh, let's see, <clears throat> I'm in 21 foot of water. Wow. Water temperatures are actually 52.2 degrees here. All right. He's actually swimming right here to me. This sabiki rig out of the way. Well, he's gonna end up swimming to the front of the kayak at the rate he's going. Look 
Come on up here, Mr. Blue Cat. Oh yeah, that's pretty fish. Pretty fish, guys. Alrighty. Now he's coming alive. He didn't come easy. I mean, he came easy, but now he's seen me and he's all worked up. <laughs> all right, man. Get back up off the bottom. He went and dove back down on me. All right. Try to get this kayak straightened out. Hopefully he's hooked decent. Oh, there's actually a nice fish, guys. Real nice fish. See what we can do here. The hook's about to fly out of his mouth. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Okay. Just about lost the hook. All right. All righty. There we go. Slow this kayak down. Good fish, guys. I mean, that was barely a hook in <laughs> Barely had him hooked. All right, guys, let's take a look at him. There he is. Good, good fish, folks. Good fish. Nice big old head on him. Let's, uh, let me get a picture and we'll get him back out there in the water. All right, pretty fish. Okay, Mr. Blue. There he is, guys. Let go of my hand. And he's gone.
There's a. Yeah, we got one on here, guys. He ain't big, I can tell you that. He ain't big at all. That's a little dinky dink. This is on the piece of white perch. Watch it be a channel cat. It is a channel cat. Fish taco size at that. <laughs> there it is, guys. Look, hook came out just like that. And the bait's still on there. Alright. Let that get back out there. And let's take a look at him. There he is, guys. Mr. Dinky Dink Channel Cat. There's a fish on this one bumping it, guys. Oh, he's good. Yeah, he's still on there. Little dink, y'all. Little dink. It's another one on the uh, bluegill headpiece. I just went through a whole stack of bait, and I imagine one of these guys is probably sitting down underneath them feeding them, feeding on them, not feeding them. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Uh, we got us a little channel cat, yo. Little channel. Mm. All right, there he is. He is muddy. He didn't actually probably won't feed him. He's just sitting down there on the bottom. All right, see you, buddy. Oh, oh. There's the fish, guys, that just came off. Damn it. Oh, wait, he might still be on there. He's still chasing it. Oh, we still have him, guys. <laughs> He's still there. He was just swimming along with the kayak, I guess. Oh, not a big fish. Hopefully, I keep him from running into another line back right here. Probably another little old channel cat, if I had to guess. Let's see, that was on a uh, piece of white perch fillet.
there it might actually be a blue. Now he's he's pulling a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, feels like a blue. Swing him around here and see what he is. He just didn't know he was hooked. He's no giant, but I will take him because it's been a little bit. Oh yeah, pretty fish. Man, that water's clear. I can see way down there. He's not showing up on the graph over here, but that's where I can see nine times of it now. Come alive now, folks. All right, I'm gonna try to turn this thing up sideways so the sun's not so bad so y'all can actually see the fish. All right, there we go. That's a healthy fish, y'all. Ain't no giant, but I'm glad to see him. It's been a few minutes since I caught one. So let me grab a picture and we'll get him back in the water. All right. Back you go, bud. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. That's a fish, guys. That's a fish. Let's see if he'll stay buttoned up. Exact same spot that I lost one while ago. Alright. This is on that fillet piece as well. Exact same spot that I, I lost one. Oh look at there. I was just scrolling through and a palmetto cat. <laughs> He's on YouTube right now live. Oh, Hey Kevin, if you're actually watching this, I'm looking at you on the phone right now. All right, let's see. Hopefully he stays on. There's several nice fish stacked up on this little ledge that I'm going over. I'm halfway tempted even though I said I was gonna move. I didn't tell y'all this, but I was planning on packing up after this ledge and heading to a different spot, but kind of tempted to run back over it. Just a little bit. It ain't very big, but hey, I'll take them. Let's see. Open your mouth. Yeah. 
Oh, hey, wow. There he is. Pretty little blue. Get a quick picture and uh, we'll get him back in the water. All right. There you go. Here you go. Well, there's a fish, guys. Let's see. There's a fish. Little fish. Look. Little dink. Plastic channel cat. Mm, look at that little thing. All right, there you go. All right, so change of plans, guys. That uh, my original plan was to go back out to this creek down there close to the ramp and fish it, but hurricane blew in. And it's taking me about three hours just to get back over here. The water was so rough, so I couldn't get back down the lake where the ramp is to get out or fish. So it looks like I'm stuck back up in this same area, and I'm just gonna troll back and forth up through here and uh. See if we can pull some more fish out of here. I'm putting on a uh, bluegill headpiece and I've got a uh, white perch body section I used about an hour while, while ago when I was messing around, but I'm gonna keep using it for now. Catfish on this one, y'all. There's a fish, guys. That's a catfish, finally. We might actually get us one more before we have to go home. My original plan was to do two trips here, but the way that wind got and got me pinned down in my in a cove earlier for a couple hours and then I had to come all the way back here where I was fishing this morning so y'all are getting one video but I might at least have a little extra fish here right as the sun's going down oh no don't come off don't come off did he come off no I think he's swimming to me 
Yeah, he's swimming up to the kayak. He ain't a giant, but I still want to catch him. It's been a uh, rough afternoon. Oh yeah. It's a wound up blue. And now he's going under the kayak. Get out from under there. This was on that body section I just put on a little bit ago. I spun around, I don't know, 10, well, 15 minutes ago, and I had a bluegill body section I ended up tossing on. All right. Pretty little blue. There y'all go, little old blue. All right, let's get them unhooked and we'll get them back in. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this trip. As y'all saw, it uh, didn't work out as quite how I had planned. I wanted to get two videos and uh, the hurricane kind of messed that up for me. Uh, as I mentioned, it pinned me up in that cove there for a couple hours and uh, couldn't get out of there for a bit. And uh, finally it died down just enough so I could sneak out, got back up in the creek that I started in and uh, that's where I finished my day. So it's one of those things, uh, you never know what's gonna happen on the water, but it all worked out. Now, if you guys have questions about this trip or anything I was doing, leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. Also, check out the description below and look for the links for the Catfish Conference website. That'll take you over there and tell you about any upcoming events they may have. They also have some great information just regarding catfishing. And if you wanna see some cool gear, check out their marketplace also. Also check out their YouTube channel, which will have great seminar videos, how-to videos, and more fishing videos like you just saw here. If you wanna see more from me, check out my channel, Rock Bottom Cats here on YouTube. I've got kayak videos, bank fishing and camping videos, boat fishing videos, and a couple how-to videos. So do me a favor and check that out also. Now, if you're on social media, check out my Instagram and Facebook page, Rock Bottom Cats. I try to keep that updated for you guys on my weekly uh, adventures, as well as if you're in North Carolina, check out NC Catfishing. It's a Facebook group that I started a oh, year or two ago, and we're at over 12,000 members. So there's a ton of great information in there and a ton of great people. So make sure you check that out also. As always, I appreciate all you sticking around and watching the video. And I'll catch you guys next time.